Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this video we're going to take a brief look at the presentation that Ivana Spanovic's coach Goran Obradovic gave at the European Jumps and Sprints Symposium in Karlstad, Sweden. In this overview of Goran's session, we're going to take a look at some of the inclusions in her training and spend some time looking at why she changed from a sail technique to a hitch kick and the rationale for her slightly different takeoff mechanics. Goran explained that he used both block and traditional periodization models. Goran has used these methods since 2013 and Ivana has won 11 medals at both world and European level from then onwards, as well as the Olympics. I like this training, but at least don't like. <laughs> burning legs. I always start with low intensity. This is the up blocking. Okay. After that I use the blocking in hurdles and after that I use blocking downstairs. Something like this for the jumps. First start with that kind. This is the blocking, high intensity blocking. It's six reps. Okay, some hurdle drills. This is on Maldives. In training sessions. Skill good. Okay? It's not so bad. Not so perfect technique. This is about 95 kilos. She gets Smith machine with two supports, you will see. This is only for extremely high volumes. This is 200 kilos. Especially is about eight degrees. We were in Monaco, we must improvise, okay, believe it or not, this is the plastic athletic field here, near the hotel. Jumping in the rain, you know. This is 10 step jumps. Quintuple jumps on one leg. It was three or four years ago. She had over 20 meters with six step standing approach okay if you want to know and uh, she had triple jump 1340 in one leg with six step approach do you always do uh, jumps in the shoes or barefoot sometimes uh 85 percent in uh, in a shoes and 15% in uh, spikes. We talk about shot. Uh, her personal best <laughs> overhead is over 2050, but it's three kilos shot. Just follow me, It's only three kilos. What? Three kilo, three kilo, yes. And the 19, over 19 meters in front. This is the exercise I use a lot. In this part of the video, Goran talks about how 
Ivana changed from a stride stroke sail to a hitch kick method of jumping and how Daria Kalashina and her hitch kick and her takeoff was very much instrumental in the change. This speed is crucial, of course, takeoff velocity 8.4. Maybe it's best to lose one to be 8.6. Maybe it's the best, but this is what's happened in the European Indoor Championships. Touchdown angle, okay, 168, 165, maybe sometimes 170. This is all acceptable. Takeoff angle, I don't know. No, no one is a robot and you can tell your athletes go for 21, go for 18, you know. I believe it's acceptable, 20 degrees, it's acceptable. And, okay, swinging length, it was in some part here, okay. It was 90 degrees, it's a, it, is, it is perfect. Now we will discuss long jumpers. That's the most important thing. Ivana wants, don't ask me why, he wants to jump to feel the power in the quadriceps. You understand me? And because of that, she's going a little bit in negative angle to feel the power. And when she feels the power, she, will go, she wants to go to the jump. I try for the faster approach of this last two step. It was not possible for her because she don't have such a timing for that kind of jump. She's a powerful jumper and I realize it will be suicide if I change this to jump like some other else. Okay. It's stand back, but a little bit more rotation backward because of that. But for me, right now she had superior landing position. Um, as we can see, about 20 or 30 centimeters at the landing. I will show you how I uh, show Ivana how to change the technique. Okay. Especially because it, it was in Gothenburg. That was not easy task. Ivana watched hundreds of her videos and videos of other long jumpers and still could not understand what she had to change. After the European Championships in Gothenburg in 2013, I had compared, I did because my second professional is video editing because, I, I will explain uh, I did a comparative analysis of Ivana and Daria Klishina Daria was much superior than Ivana at that time I used TV recordings of both jumps to put the jumpers in the same space it's very important, same space and the same time uh, and I followed the movement of Ivana pelvis okay during the jump from the takeoff point I took a photo every third frame out of the video until the landing position as you can see it's blurry okay must be because I use TV recordings, but I believe you can see. Okay, the starting position. What do you see? What is the difference? Uh, Klishina had much bigger negative angle. Yeah? This is one of the things why Ivana jumped today like this. Okay, for me the better position for the long jump, not for me, for the biomechanics stuff, okay, they said better position for, for, for jumps had Ivana than <coughs> Next, okay, 
You see the meaning here of Ivana and position of Krishna. Swinging leg, very good in both. Next phase. Ivana at that time had hand technique, okay, and Krishna had hip kick. This is the difference, and this is the position. If you want a perfect landing, this is the position, what we expected. Okay, this is not the swinging leg, this is the jumping leg. We are rotating, jumping leg rotating. Put in 90, 90 degrees position. Okay, the body is little bit rotate backward, little bit, but this is the perfect position for landing. And what happened with Ivana? It's over rotating with the shoulder. Bravo. This is the crucial picture. How I explain Ivana what she could do. This is the crucial picture. The crucial stuff you will see after that Ivana had more speed than Krishna and more height than Krishna but it doesn't count because Krishna jumped 705 okay and this is the jump of Ivana fall she jumps approximately 680 but you will see next look at this gliding position she waits for the landing, perfect position. Ivana already with her hand going to the landing. And you see the rotation. But in this position, you can see that Ivana is advanced. Look at the hips, where is Ivana? And look at the hips of Krishina. Much speed in a jump. Still, Krishina is waiting. In the perfect position, Ivana is going already for landing. Look at the look at the advantage of Ivana. Look, it's unbelievable. It's almost 50 centimeters. It's almost 50 centimeters. Ivana is landing right now. Look at this height of the Krishna. Ivana is already landing. Krishna is waiting. Everything is perfect for Krishna. And you can see this is the trace of Ivana. And you can't see the trace of Krishna because it's perfect landing. Hopefully, you will have enjoyed this brief overview of Goran's presentation from Karlstad in Sweden. And I do have some audio from the presentation which I may share on a future occasion. And do check out some of the other videos from Karlstad. For example, this one from Yannick Trageo on the takeoff mechanics for the long jump. And do, of course, subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. And good luck with your training and competitions. And if you're looking for a suitable gift for the coach or athlete in your life, do check out my Jump Squad merchandise.